Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President Luther P. Quapleton. Thank you. Alright, first of all, you know how we got those nuclear weapons? Yeah, well, we sold them all to Ho Chi Minh the 69th for a rubber band, a doobie, and a family-sized bag of Ranch Doritos. Don't worry, though. They'll be equally rationed for everyone. By everyone. I mean me. Robert Benford finally achieved going to the moon in a cardboard box. He has renamed it Knoxville, with the governor being Johnny Knoxville. Christopher Columbus says hello. Dr. Octogonopus fired his laser at Abraham Lincoln while driving his yellow convertible today, and then was anally raped by Sir Nicholas Chambers the Gase. South Korea has become emo and has started to cut itself. Walt Disney has been unfrozen and is now questing for universal domination. He has shaved the left and right sides of his mustache, leaving only the center, and is now referring to himself as Walt Hinkle. Dr. Seuss is being brought in for questioning. Apparently he is not a real doctor, and apparently hopping on pop is illegal. Dr. House broke his Vicodin addiction today by switching to crack. Bill Clinton has joined Sexaholics Anonymous today. Adrian Monk is no longer obsessive, stating he no longer gives a damn. Lord Vader is now insisting the fall of the Jedi was purely accidental and he will be using the Force to fight AIDS. Gary Larson was killed today after his cartoons came to life. Antarctica has come out of the closet today, explaining why it's completely white. Polar ice caps are not melting, but they are relocating. As of August 2013, they will be known as the East and West Poles. The North and South Poles are not reversing themselves, but instead are being evicted into two different locations. Billy Mays' cause of death was discovered this morning. He was snorting OxyClean. The Northern Lights are banished due to making stoners believe that they were using good shit. The pothead guy from Twilight Princess Bloopers fell from the sky today and was killed by a rabid pack of boars he thought he saw. Edward Cullen was eaten by zombies today. The mind calendar was proven untrue today. We are not going to die tomorrow. Turns out, they were just JKing. We have tried to revive John F. Kennedy today, but we're unable to define the rest of his head. Tobias Velez did was killed by John Morvilla today. And it turns out Jamie Otona did not eat Tobias' hair. Holden Caulfield turned to ecstasy today and is now working as a part-time sex counselor. Mike Rowe has become obsessive-compulsive. Osama Bin Laden was found in a Las Vegas casino, eating Oreos and cursing his vengeance on Canada. The Apocalypse sent us a postcard today. It will be arriving tomorrow in the form of an asteroid. Here is a detailed picture. But the good news is if we all survive tomorrow, everyone is welcome to Wyoming for ice cream and bagels. Poughkeepsie succeeded from New York today, becoming its own state, making it 51 instead of 50. The mayor is James Foley, the man convicted of the Water Street Butcher crimes. Chuck Norris says he will be riding on the back of the apocalypse. He will then blow all of our money on filthy STD-infected whores. Prostitution was legalized in 47 states. The other four were gay. John Wayne Gacy escaped from his grave today. He was fined for, fired from his clown job, blaming his pedophilia on the economy. We will now play a game of 7-Up. The winner will decide on how we handle these important issues. Any questions? <laughs>